Well, hello and welcome. This is it. We're going to review Sample Tank 4 tonight. And I already did it once, uh, started. Uh, and it just disappeared off my screen. <laughs> it kind of crashed. So let's get right into it, guys. Um, there's a lot. Whoa. There's a lot of sound to cover. Are you guys there? Okay. There's a lot to cover, so let's get going because it's going to take all fucking night. We're going to take a look at this GUI real fast. I don't have it all figured out, but basically you got the MIDI options here. You have a little reset panic button there. And there is ads. Like, you can shop. It's the new thing. It's like, put the ads. So here's your... Um, sound content stuff like that importing and here you have your keyboard view and you can go down to like a pad view where you can put various like individual parts for your pad setups for like dance music stuff like that here's your macro view for instruments so like if I put an instrument in here so yeah we just got into it right there and we can go back once again a macro view and here's like splitting, all that kind of stuff. Latch, oh, there's latch on, latch off. I was thinking about that earlier. Here's your mixer for a mixing. You've got all your effects units up here. And everything just like, see I did so that? Leads back to your instruments, your categories, filters. It's like aggressive type stuff, aggressive arpeggios. We're gonna get into the arpeggios today. I got all the way like down to here and it was bad. Anyways, let's break into our Pagios real quick. These are multis right here. You can see all your preset multis. A bunch of cool stuff. Amaze me. So it's gonna load amaze me real quick. We'll check it out. I'm gonna try to do more talking than playing. I'm sorry, I'm going to try to do more playing than talking. And this is huge, loading my massive multi right now. So yeah, this thing did just disappear. <laughs> So let's dive into this. Uh, we've seen this part. We got a multi-use here. Let's go back over here. Now, if you touch this, you can see how you can lock it or you can go right here and we can save it or we can just empty it. And we're just gonna empty these really quick. Very cool, all kinds of shit. And we'll, anything we're missing here, let's go down here. These are, um, Looks like uh, for your effects, I'm guessing. Oh, once I think once your effects and everything, it'll show your complete instrument. And then these toggles. So it's not, it's like there you have the toggles back and forth. Also toggle back and forth. And here's your effects rack in which you can start uh, inserting effects. Turn it on and um, I don't know. Anyways. Uh, start inserting effects. Yeah, look at that. Just go up here. Bam. It's all a piece of cake. Just bam. Start in. So that's all your effects. You know what I'm talking about. And you got your mixer. We already did that. And toggle. And this is some sort of latch. Oh, I don't want it to latch. That's what I was looking for. Unlatch. So we're not going to latch. This is, I'm um, assuming, your loop player. So you can half speed the loop and these are all your loops and you can assign the various keys. Woo. We'll get into that later. Oh, it's a, 
Oh, it looks like it's like a drum, some sort of drum station. Make your own drums. Anyways, let's do what we came to do and dive into these sounds. And all you got to do to get a sound is just like click this, takes you right to the sound page. So let's dig into the arpeggios. Here we go.
Just a second, so we can see a crash. So I'm using it as a standalone right now, obviously. Maybe we got it back. I don't know why that's happening. It comes right back, though. Other than that, where are we at? Yeah, we saw that one. Yeah, four forty-five twenty-eight. <laughs> As a VST. I haven't um, restarted the computer since I installed it. And like I said, I'm not running it as a, VS, a VST right now. Thank <laughs> you. 
good for now, huh? Just to deal with the uh, standalone or not. Yeah. Well, we are at noisy <laughs> on our pages. Hmm. How are we doing? We're doing good. Let's skip noisy and see what happens. Maybe it just doesn't like it noisy. What do you think so far, guys? Oh, there you go. Skip noisy FM. <laughs> Very little of these 
bells and whistles. It was just meat and potatoes. So, FM noise and white sequence. It sounds like they might both have white noise generators involved in their makeup. So, we have completed this. Anyone using this? Uh, noisy FM and white 
uh, sequence crashed the standalone. Man, I just kind of want to. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is part one. We did our pageos. You guys want to just, man. Um, let's just look at my. Gosh, what do I really want to hear really quick? Strange sound effects. I want to hear the organs real quick. Here's the organs. Here's the, ooh, look at all the draw bars. Oh my goodness. Watch your ears, boys and girls. section now. <laughs> has that big loud in your face <laughs>
first time I use this. I think it's running an error. I need to restart. But uh, excuse me. I could, and I think this is how it was designed. Is I could load a new patch while I'm playing a patch. And I don't. I swear to God, it was doing it. So. It's crashing. So no doubt, it's not working perfectly right now. It's so much
a delay on that. You can see where this is going with this. I'm not gonna do it. Just various drawbars. <laughs> two times this is sample tank for day one we have gone through arpeggios and um we just went through a lot a lot i mean the arpeggios were cool because it really took kind of a different turn from sample tank three's normal shit i mean sample tank three you would not find all those little cool whistles and bells and cool little syncopated tones and shit they just don't exist in that. And just to, just to hear all those is just really cool. But more importantly, as we break into the bread and butter and get into these organs, that, I mean, I can't even do them justice. I'm not that good of a player. But uh, these things sound fucking great, man. I got headphones on, so they're right in my ear. But they sound so good in comparison to Sample Tank 3. It's like... Oh my God. See you guys. We'll do uh, more tomorrow.